Okay, let's do the next video in the series Hero Wars walkthrough. And currently I am on level 27. I, we are still on day one of the server start. And I just invested 1 euro 89 cents to buy this VIP2 card, which allows me to, with one click, to raid campaign quests that have already three stars, plus some extra nice uh, features, 7% emeralds with every purchase and uh, use emerald exchange 30 times a day and restore hero mission attempts one time a day. Okay, anyway, the main purpose here is to um, unlock this raid feature and just to show where we are currently. So we are now on level 27 and can collect a few rewards here so let's do that so this can all be collected now reach vip level 2 and now obviously is no longer free to play because i invested the less than two two bucks in this game but i guess it's okay and now what we will do is basically invest all those almost 1000 energy points into doing campaign uh, quests with that have three stars already with one click for example this one has already three stars so we simply click here and see there's two still two out of three available so i just click on raid and immediately the fight is over i can collect the loot and do it once more and get those soul stones from arachne and so that's really much much quicker than uh, what it would be without the vip2 level and i will do this now for all uh, fights with the big fights at least let's start with those available two out of three and um, that's done now and then this one two fights available let's do them right away and the last one here also two fights available and that really now very quickly boosts our team level to the level 28 now. Let's see on chapter one, I think we did already everything. No, this one is also available two times. So let's do that one as well. And this one is available once. So let's do it as well. And no, I don't want this. And this one, uh, it's also available twice. So let's do this as well. And now we have done all of them three times, which unlocks a lot of quests. So because there's a quest to complete all of those big missions three times, so we can complete and collect the soul stones for all of them now. So that was the main reason for doing those and now we have done all of them now what we can do is focus on our heroes and see for example first we can summon kyra for 10,000 gold that's nice we got a new hero but is not one that i really use so let's first upgrade the skill points for our main heroes so that's astaroth is in our main group Thea still as we do not yet have a better healer so she is still in our main group and you, we can see we can invest a lot of skill points so I will continue doing so we can only do 20 at a time so bring her really up in skill points so that should really boost our healing to the next level and the remaining points will go to 
Phobos. Let's boost him. And now with this, our party should be much, much stronger. And I will also boost the equipment and promote Phobos to the next level. Now he becomes green. Equip him as well and boost the remaining skill points. And with that, let's see if we can do some additional equipment here. Yes, we can. Artemis we can equip as well. Not really using Artemis in the long run, but still kind of useful in some events. And with that, I guess we now can try to do the Outland. Let's give it a try and for example start with Brock the Conqueror, attack here and see how far we get this time. Now that Phobos is green and Astaroth and Thea have significantly been boosted as well. I think it should be doable now. Let's give it a try and see how far we get now. Now the damage starts to go through. Phobos now. We still have one minute. And Rock still has significant health, more than half of it. Let's see, we need to improve now. Okay, it seems it's still too early for this fight. Okay, let's stop that. It does not work. Okay, let's collect those red circles, those red dots, and then continue to gain some experience by raiding some of those fights. And basically what I will do now is I will check what is needed, what equipment is needed to bring my heroes to promote my heroes bring them to the next level so let's first open all the stuff that is consumable and that is skin stone quests i typically use here the intelligent skin stones and i use all of them uh, as i will focus on magic attack and on the quest we have completed a few quests as well that's good and now let's have a look at the heroes what is needed for example Astaroth needs the first item and Thea the second one so let's start with Astaroth so this item is still missing we need one of those one sword and we will just do those fights until we get this item now it's there you see you need one of one we collect it and equip it. And with that, we can promote Asteroid to Asteroid Blue. So Asteroid now is blue and we can equip the other stuff, which will further strengthen our main primary tank. And we will do the same now for Thea. For her, this item was missing, 
the wizard stuff. So let's also raid this one and there we are, there it is. We are lucky already after the first fight it has been dropped so we can equip it and promote her to blue as well. So now we have two blue characters and remember we are still on day one. So that's quite nice. So let's move on to Phobos. What is needed for him? Phobos needs item number one and four. So let's aim for those. Number one is this one. Get now it says. And we raid it as well. And there it is. So we are quite lucky again. And now there's the rarity fair. So we could boost Thea to the next level with a single click. Mm, but I'm not a big fan of this. As we need to spend energy anyways, uh, why spend emeralds now? So I will click this away and instead uh, do the, the manual equipment by doing those raid fights in the campaign. So we still need this wizard stuff so that's a bit more tedious we need two of those mantles so we need to do it a bit more often first one is dropped second one there we go and then we need one of those let's collect them as well and there it is so now we have everything and we can create the wizard stuff and equip it and with that we can promote Phobos as well. So Phobos is now Phobos plus one so we need to promote him one more time to make him blue and actually we will do that right away so we need this. Um, let's see uh, if we are lucky and get it quickly. This one is a bit a rare item. Typically we need to do um, it more often. There it is. So we can now um, collect this one. And then we need also this wizard stuff once more. So same exercise like before. Two mantles. And one sword. There we go. And we are already at team level 29. You see this is really quick now. And now we collect this item. Not even sure what it is. Sensor. Uh -huh. Okay. Collect it. There it is. And with that we can create the wizard stuff and equip it. So Phobos is almost done as well. Um, so now let's see what is missing. Phobos, the last item is missing. This one, let's see what is needed. Ah, okay, we need one of those so we can do this. Ah, this has not yet three stars, so I don't want to do it now. I will rather use this one because it's quicker. Collect it. There it is. And with that we can create and equip and promote. And with that Phobos should be now blue as well. There we go. And equip this stuff. So now we have three blue heroes and uh, the other one I want eventually have in my party is Jorgen and he obviously is still gray. So we need to put some effort in making him green first. There we go. Um, equip. And once he is green we can then promote him to blue. So it's a bit tedious but obviously much less effort than without the raid card because then each time I, I'm clicking now on raid and within a second I have the result I would rather do the actual fight which then takes between 30 seconds and one or two minutes uh, per fight. 
So this one has not yet three stars. So that's another reason why it's important to finish uh, all those fights with three stars because otherwise the rating would not work. You would first need to um, get the three stars before you can use the rate feature. And then we need this and rate. And as you can see, energy is sli slowly going down. We started at almost 1000. Now we are at 600. And now we can promote Jorgen. Now Jorgen is green. We can equip everything and get the remaining equipment. And this one does not work yet. So then we take this one. There we go. So we need one of those. And there it is. Equip. Then we need this. Okay, we can. This one is not yet ready with three stars. So we take this one for the ring. There we go. And equip. And what else is missing? Probably this one. So we need one of those. There we go. And that's, I hope that's all that was missing. And we can promote Jorgen to green plus one. There we go. And now the, the last round. And then we are done with all this tedious raiding stuff. But on the other hand, we need to spend the energy anyway to get the experience. And that's a good way to invest into what really makes sense to just do those uh, fights that are needed in order to for the equipment uh, that is needed for our heroes. Oh, that was lucky with the first try. We got the shield and can equip it. And then we need the lost ring. Mm, let's see. First try as well, lucky. We can equip it as well. And then we still need this one, one of those. We may need a few more tries, there we go. And we can equip this one. And then eventually this one. And one of those is needed. Now we can create it right away. Uh, hero level 20 is needed. Okay, so Jorgen is still on a rather low level. So we should first fix that um, and increase the level of Jorgen to something higher. I, I max him out 29. And now we can promote him to blue as well. There we go. And um, should we do this? 100 is a lot. No, I won't do this now because the skill points we generate automatically. So there's really no need to invest a lot of emeralds into, into refreshing the skill points. But sometimes it's needed because otherwise it would just take too long and now we get a lot of emerald rewards for all those promotions that we just did so you see that also really helps and i recall we have one quest where we should open a chest 10 times or something i think it was was it here in the airship let's see if i was right i recall we had an open quest i think it was here there we go. So there's a quest with a re reward of 1000 emeralds and it costs me 800 emeralds. So by now we have obviously much more than 800. And by clicking here, it would open this chest 10 times. So let's do it and see what we get. And you see, we get a lot of useful stuff, uh, artifact stuff. And immediately because we now open the chest 10 times, it boosts our artifact to chest level two. And we get another 1000 artifact coins and one additional artifact chest key. So we won't do it again. So be careful to not accidentally click on again, because now then it would cost another 800 emeralds. And obviously you get the, the 1000 emerald reward only once. 
Um, here I can activate and start a few more expeditions. That's always useful. When they are finished, just start the next one. And now we need to get the reward for the quest we just did. So we invested 800 emeralds and get 1000 emeralds back. So that was a good deal. And we also have now finished our four expeditions. And now we can also upgrade a hero skin. Let's see which one to do. So for example, um, for this one, yeah, this one we could actually do. So skin is on the second tab here. We have the skills here and then the, the skins. We have the artifacts here and there's various skins. Some of them uh, to unlock them, you need uh, really a lot of those uh, skin stones. So I earlier took some of the intelligent skin stones in the chest I opened, but you see you still need 5,000 and we are far away from those 5,000 skill points. But anyway, we can just use and uh, upgrade the default skin, which would uh, increase the strength, which is the, the main uh, stat of uh, Asteroid anyway. So that makes perfect sense to uh, upgrade this skin once and that will boost his strength by plus two. And with that, we have should have now completed the quest to upgrade a hero skin. And now there's also the quest to level up an artifact. So let's see if we have enough material. Yes, we do. So now we can think about which of those characters we want to uh, upgrade the artifact. So I like Phobos a lot. So I will start with Phobos. And let's see. Uh, on this, there's three artifacts. This one uh, gets unlocked at level 20, hero level 20. This one gets unlocked at hero level 25. And this one gets unlocked at hero level 30. The third one typically boosts the main stat. So here, intelligence. And, and this one is a um, boost on the magic attack and health. And the first one is uh, a shield for others right typically and it has a chance to activate so currently uh, if, if i would awaken this one it would uh, increase the activation chance and the magic defense i think i will go for this one actually i can as you can see with this red dot i could uh, awaken both those artifacts so let's awaken this one and maybe as well this one and let's see what else we can do. I mean, improving the tank is always a good idea. So let's awaken this one and the second one. And then maybe the healer as well. Okay. Sorry. So I think that now there's no more artifacts that can be uh, awakened. And can we improve any of those awakened artifacts? So let's see um, what is possible. So that would be done here. But we don't have uh, enough material yet to, to improve any of those. Here, here it's possible, yes. So for this one it's possible. So we can upgrade here, maybe twice. And with that we should have now finished this quest as well. And what remains is to open the chest in Outlands. And that would even bring some experience. So I will try, give it a try with Brock and attack Brock. Now that we have a quite reasonable party with four blue heroes should be doable let's see if it works
Yeah, it seems to work this time. So Brock is almost down. And the quest was to open or unlock three quests. So once he is down, the first of the three quests uh, chests is unlocked and opened. So now I can open chest, gain some emeralds and some of those skin stones. So this quest, this chest can be opened now. And in theory, I could even open uh, one more with investing 90 emeralds, which I typically don't do and now uh, this was level 20 so we could give it a try and see if we it also works if brock is on level 23 if that works as well that would be our second chest so let's see if we are lucky Does not look too bad. Still maximum health for our whole party. The issue might be the timing, right? He still has half of his health, but still more than one minute to go, so that looks very good now, actually. So it seems it will work out as well. There we go, down he is, and that was our second chest that we can open now. Another 100 skin stones, and we will, to just finish the quest, we will do it a third time and battle him again. Hopefully, again, it will work, and then the quest is finished and we can collect the reward, which is 50 experience points, if I recall correctly. And obviously the experience points are needed to boost our team level. That's always the thing why experience in the early days is critical to gain, either through daily quests or by spending energy. Those are the two main ways to boost your team experience to your team level. And actually at higher levels this might even not be a focus area anymore because for example the difficulty in the tower depends on your team level. So if you focus too much on boosting team level and cannot cope, uh, cannot keep up with your individual hero uh, levels, then you will not be successful in the tower and not be able to do all 50 levels but maybe only the first 10 or so and tower is one of the main sources to collect gold and gold is the key critical resource later on in the game so so that's why the focus on spending energy to gain experience level shifts it's it is a focus area until level 60 in the game and then later on uh, is not a focus it happens naturally some sometimes you even should avoid to finish those daily quests that grant experience because they will boost your your team level to higher levels and make tower more difficult or impossible for you to complete because you need more time for your individual heroes to catch up um, just a side note okay so that was the third chest that we open so now the quest is completed and we get those 50 experience points let me quickly check how much more energy we need to spend to reach level 30 as you can see 23 points experience points experience points are still needed to become level 30 so again let's quickly collect our rewards it's always use, makes sense to do this in time because sometimes you get exactly what you need like 
gold for example right I had some gold issues and uh, now I'm getting a lot of gold uh, by completing now here I'm getting energy also nice so it makes sense to often collect those rewards okay okay good so let's spend those remaining 23 energy points consumable again these are the skin stones and as I said I always use the intelligence skin points and now um, let's see what we can do here so which one to boost Galahad only needs the third item Galahad is not uh, my main tank but there will be some um, features where you will need a second tank later on so I will use uh, Galahad as my second tank so that's why I you might wonder why I am even bothering uh, investing resources into him if he is not in my ma main party but he will be in my secondary party later on there's a feature called Grand or Great Arena where you have three uh, teams um, and I will use Galahad in my second team there but not focus too much for the moment on this one and then rather more important is Astaroth so he still needs to we need to find this one and maybe we can even get it in the shop let's see if we are lucky yes so we can buy it here so we will do that that saves us some time and hero level 30 is needed and is not even available we first need to move on in the campaign so that's not a good idea okay we cannot boost Atheroth maybe Thea on her first item that could still be an option let's see where to get this one uh, there it is and now we are in team level 30 okay so let's equip this item and with that maybe just show you very quickly now okay this is um, indicating that um, for this level 40 is needed but now what has uh, been unlocked is the guild feature so we can now click on this one and see what guilds are available already and as I told you I will just check for the language so this seems to be I don't know either Chinese or Korean Ruski uh, Ruski 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 so you see the Russians are really good in this game and committed and then we have one German guild and one English guild so this is a bit strange name so maybe I will go for the German guild there's only one person so you see I mean actually I should probably go for this guild because it has already nine people that are in this guild but the problem is I, I won't understand what's going on there so it doesn't make sense and here it's even worse I would even understand less because here at least I can read the letters <laughs> and here I cannot so um, but with that I think I will go for for the German guild here and and join join this one okay now we are in the guild and I guess we get some rewards for having joined a guild welcome to the guild so now you, there's a guild city here you can summon your titans and so that's a new concept so so far we have only focused on our normal heroes and we get some gifts summoning spheres will help you get your first titans so we get now five summoning spheres and 500 titan potions so so now is a, is a completely different mechanics um, we can uh, summon titans now and here we go so i click here this is now summoning a titan and we already 
got our first titan called Vulcan uh, is a one star titan and it's a fire fire titan so there's different titans elemental water uh, fire and I can upgrade the titans like with normal heroes as well and so let's do this a few times so now I cannot do because I have only 40 titan potions and I would need 140 to boost it to the next level I could rather invest into this emeralds and boost the level as well but before I do that I will there's another thing okay so we need to this is again the tutorial now on this titan so we need to do it a few more times and now since we have it already instead we get 30 soul stones which uh, basically increases the level of our existing Vulcan and do we need to do it once more yes we need to I think we need to do it three or five times let's see when it stops so now uh, we got five soul stones for Vulcan do I need to do it one more time yes okay and then let's do it I think it's five times okay so now we got a second titan is Sigurd with a one star this is a water titan so now we have already two titans and now obviously I cannot boost this one because I'm running out of titan potions but it doesn't matter level one is okay because the other thing uh, what we can do now here is we can summon five times it costs 700 emeralds but in doing so we get a reward of thousand so again is a no-brainer clicking here investing our 700 emeralds and getting additional titans so now we get this one Avalon one star um, it's uh, I think it's earth elemental yes there we go element is earth so that's nice uh, that we got this one so now we have already three titans in here you see the other shards soul stones from the other titans we got so we got nine for Vulcan and now we have already 49 so that's pretty good uh, this one we have 14 9 14 and so so now let me check use the power sparks you get for upgrading titans to increase your heroes stats okay so now we can because we got uh, this we can now use what we got here on the tight with the titans we can invest into what is called gift of the elements so now we need to focus on and i will focus on phobos and um I, to activate i would need 250 sparks of power and as you can see i have received with the titans 575 so now i have enough to activate this and it will boost strength intelligence and agility with the values shown here and you see now there's this first triangle in purple and each time i click here it gets more and more expensive next time would be 260 so as you can see i can do it one more time which i will do and then the second triangle gets activated and eventually this whole thing becomes activated and it boosts the the stats uh, strength intelligence and agility of phobos which is nice okay so with that what else can we do so obviously we can i can now go back to city here on the lower left to the city and collect um, the thousand emeralds from from the quest we just completed so let's do that so this is the quest 1000 emeralds and we completed a few other quests like upgrade the gift of the elementals summon one titan summon two titans summon three titans join a guild get team level 30 and as you saw we received some of the material that is needed to boost your titan so i can click here on the titans and now decide which of those three titans i want to further increase again i am a big fan of balancing things so now we have 340 so maybe i can boost this to level three or even four so now I have some two reasonable um, Titans, the Vulcan on level five, Sigurd on four, and Avalon on one. And let's maybe check, clicking on one of them. This is the Soul Stone. So for example, Vulcan, we have already 49 out of 50. So only one more 
uh, would be needed so I can for example summon but I have unfortunately no summoning spheres anymore or um, I would do uh, this welcome to the guild dungeon so and here by doing quests here I could also collect those shards for example if I attack this one and obviously it said fire so I can only use my fire titan that I just brought to level 5 and clicking on auto here you see it looks similar to the regular fights but now it's titans only so I cannot mix titans with my normal heroes um, so there are titan fights and normal hero fights in this guild dungeon and now this one is almost down that's good so we finished this level and as a reward we got two soul stones from Myri and uh, 10 times 2 titanit which is uh, good for the guild if the guild the whole guild um, collects a certain amount of this and it's it's mentioned here then everyone gets summoning spheres as a reward so let's do battle 2 and now you will see that here this one is a regular fight with our regular normal heroes so let's just use our five strongest heroes and and do this fight as well So that was the fight. Again, we get some Titan potions and the Titanet. Yeah, and this can go on and go on. So I will stop here for the sake of this video and then go back to the city. And now we have again a few quests. For example, we upgraded the gift and we get another 300 Titans. So we could increase our third titan as well we can now get guild activity points and collect titanite we started with doing the first two fights there and i can also uh, send gifts to my guild mates um, so that is done so that was quite easy and maybe i will upgrade my third titan before i forget as i said i I like to have all of them on a similar level. Currently they are at around 4 to 5, that's reasonable. But having one of them on level 1 uh, is more or less useless, uh, it's too weak, so I need to boost this one as well. So now he's on level 4 as well. Now I feel a bit better, 5, 4, 4. Balanced Titan team with 3 Titans so far, more to come. Eventually we will have 5 as well. And then there's a few... Uh, more rewards that can be collected. Let's do that quickly. And okay, we got some emeralds as a reward for completing level 30. Now you see we have already 3700 emeralds, and I invested less than two euros in this game so far. So with that concludes the fourth video of the series. We reached level 30. I hope you liked the series and if so I'd be happy if you would give me a like in the video or even subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye.